All right, let's look at the oculofacial plastic and orbital surgery book here. I want to shout out to all of the people who have spent a lot of time putting all this together and um, appreciate all of their hard work. We organize everything anatomically, then by physiology, then look at the pathology. Right. Spacing out the times and ways you're reviewing makes such a big difference. So maybe you read through all of the orbital anatomy earlier in the fundamentals book, but that was two months ago, right? Then you come back and say, oh, I'm reading through this again. Hopefully that all of this information seems more familiar to you. And so you can read through that and then also quiz yourself on all of those things. Starting out with congenital orbital anomalies, you can type all of this back to what you read in the PEDS book. You know, and then there's inflammatory neoplasms, trauma and orbital surgery and looking at the facial and eyelid anatomy and how to classify all of that how to do reconstructive lid surgery and then facial rejuvenation in the, the lacrimal system diseases right so lots of really great high yield stuff more diagrams that are really really helpful so again when you see these diagrams and read about all of this stuff, I would encourage you to go find a good neuroradiology atlas that, or you know, look online. There's several really good free resources. Tie all of that back into what you're reading because clinically, all of this stuff might still seem kind of foreign unless you're examining the patient, you're either seeing it in surgery or you're looking at a scan. Maybe there's a CT scan that's showing something. You're trying to figure out, well, what, what structure is that? So you'd have to be able to look at the CT and be able to understand, oh, that's the lacrimal gland, not just like some really weird extraocular muscle, right? Looking at the different kinds of inflammation, different tumors. Again, some more activities now. Love that you have these really useful QR codes that you could just go online and be able to work through it. The idea is that the more ways that you can approach the material and space it out, force yourself to remember this without looking up the answer, the better you'll understand this and the more helpful it'll be whenever you're going to take care of these patients in the clinic.